welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Homestead Heart. Today, we are going to get some garlic mashed potatoes on the dinner table. So let's go ahead and get started. So, what we're starting with is, this is seven gold potatoes. Alright, now you can adjust the amount of potatoes that you need for this according to the size of your family. So, I'm going to start, and I already have some cold water on the stove. I'm getting my water nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and season my water with just a little bit of salt. Not a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get some salt, and I'm going to get my potatoes cut. I don't peel these. No need to peel them. Just cut off those tips, depending on how they look, and I'll get those in the water. These are some of the easiest potatoes that y'all can make right here, right? Garlic mashed potatoes. They are so easy to make, but they are so super delicious. Okay? Put them all in the water. And you can use red potatoes if you like. Um, red potatoes, I like those too. I'm just not the greatest fan of the red potato. I prefer the Yukon Gold. They are so good to me. They just so, I don't know, they just got this buttery flavor all, all by themselves. They're just such a smooth potato. I absolutely love them. And the skins, yeah, that's the best part. Don't want to get rid of those skins. No, you don't. Hang on to those. And get these in the water. And I'm bringing that water up to a boil. And we're going to let these babies boil or cook until they are nice and tender. We're going to let these cook until they are nice and tender. Like I said, I got my water on. It's not hot at all. You know, it was just heating up on the stove, but I got my potatoes in. My water is seasoned with just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna let this come up to a boil until my potatoes get hot. Once they get hot and they get tender, I will show you what we do next. It's really garlic mashed potatoes is all about what you season them with. And of course, the star of the garlic mashed potato show, not just the potato, also the garlic. Y'all stay tuned. Now while we're waiting on those potatoes, a bulb of garlic in here and I'm busting up the bulb just in case you didn't know perfect just in case you didn't know if you got a whole bulb of garlic and you really want to get your cloves busted up really really quickly just put it in a jar give it a shake it only takes a minute give it a shake pop the lid off and voila <laughs> oh y'all can't even see that thing let me show you. That's what it looked like. All right. So now, I'm going to take three cloves of this beautiful garlic. That's a nice size cloves, too. Okay, they so big. How about just two cloves? <laughs> well, this one, look, the skin came clean off of this. Look at that. Clean off. This one, too. Clean off of this. And almost off of this one. So that's such a quick way to like get your garlic done, right? So I'm not going to bother this one since I already got some that's ready, set to go. Go ahead and get the garlic peeled. Get the skin off of this one. And we're set. If you got one of those little garlic press things, I got one. I don't know why I don't use this. I don't know why I don't use my garlic press. I like it. Let me put my garlic in there and mash it up. Let me see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But I like it. So, so now I have three cloves of uh, minced garlic. That's going to be waiting in cut. Mm. 
That garlic smells so good. I mean, it has a strong, strong scent. Ooh, this is some strong garlic. I mean, you want to run some people away? You need these. <laughs> you get this close. You're going to get rid of some people for real. All right. So my potatoes are on the stove cooking. My garlic is all minced up. Let me tell you what we're going to be using for the garlic mashed potatoes. So we have the garlic right here already. Of course, you know what I'm going to be using to go with it. I'm going to use a little cayenne pepper. I'm going to use some heavy cream. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit of salt for the garlic mash. I'm going to use a stick of butter. I'm going to also add some shredded cheese as well and then a few herbs so that's all the ingredients that is going to be included in the garlic mashed potatoes but i'm going to show you how i put it all together this is going to be so good all right y'all we'll be right back all right so the potatoes are almost ready they have not been cooking very long at all and i'm going to show you how i test to make sure my potatoes are done um i'm going to have to remove these from the heat so the water doesn't splash on me <laughs> Cause they are really burly and that pot is heavy okay so now let's turn this way so the way I like to check is that I just like to take a knife and if that knife goes right on through that do I have the knife in there yeah okay so if the knife goes through the potato easily then I know they're ready if I have to put a little too much pressure on it then I'll give them a few more minutes so these right here need about a good five more minutes and then I will bring you back. But that's how. You just test it and see if that knife will go straight on through that potato. And I'm going to cover these and let them cook for another five minutes. So I'll bring y'all back in five minutes. Okay. My potatoes should be ready. It's been five minutes. I'm going to get them off the fire. And I'm going to do a quick little test. I'm going to make sure they are ready. And I believe they are. I'm going to put my knife in here. Go right here to this one. Look at there. But uh come on, where are you? Right on through. Alright, so my potatoes are nice and ready. They're nice and tender. Going right on through. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna get these drained and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I do next. Alright, we are back. My potatoes are drained. And now they are just awaiting some deliciousness from some onion and some garlic. So we're going to get this in. I'm going to go ahead. My pan has been heating up on the stove. Going to get some olive oil in this baby. And that is hot. Love it. Reduce the heat. The first thing I'm going to do, get that oil worked all the way around. Reduce the heat. All right, y'all. We're gonna get the onions added to the olive oil. This is about a tablespoon of olive oil that I'm adding to that. Give that a nice little toss. Those onions. Okay, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer now so you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to add my garlic in just a second. And while this is sitting on the stove, my potatoes are over here. They've been hanging out for a minute. I am going to go ahead and add to that pot with my potatoes. I'm going to add a cup of heavy cream. Mm-hmm. A cup of heavy cream. I like to rake all of the cream out. Get it all out of there. <laughs> I say it all the time. Waste not, what not. So, those are still doing what they're going to do. Now, I got my one stick of butter right here. I'm going to cut that. Let me cut this down. So I just cut that down into quarters, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my butter added to my pot with my potatoes. I'm just heating that up over there. All of this can go in the pot. I'm going to add about four ounces of cream cheese to this. Okay. Now garlic mashed potatoes can be done however you see fit. Okay. Mmm. That looks that smells so good. Alright, now I am going to go ahead and add, since my onions are just about ready, I'm gonna go ahead and get my three cloves of fresh garlic added into there. That garlic, I'm only cooked that for about a minute. Not long. Not long at all. Just want to get that flavor, that garlic flavor. Release all of that flavor. Mmm, already. Already, y'all. That garlic is, is talking to me. It's like, what's up? <laughs> all right. I'm going to just add a little salt to this onion and garlic. Mix that up. Perfect. My cream is coming to a boil. Now what I'm going to do, turn this fire off over here. I'm going to move this over here so you can see. Then I am going to add in my onions and my garlic. All to that pot right there. Get it all in there. Mm-hmm. Easy garlic mashed potatoes. Now the cream cheese is optional. You do not have to add cream cheese if you don't want to. This is what I enjoy in my garlic mash, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna pull you over and let you get a look at this. All right, so my garlic mash is cooking away. And you notice I didn't mash these potatoes to start with because the longer you cook them, you can just start mashing them down with your spoon and they will do just fine, okay? Now, here's where this gets interesting because this is where you add your other spices and you can add all of this to taste, okay? So you can add salt, pepper, more garlic if you like, meat. I like to add a little cayenne pepper. Let's get the seasonings in. Alright y'all. Time to get the seasonings in. Let's get the seasonings in. I'm going to add some basil. I'm not measuring it out, but you can add what you like. Reduce my heat to medium low because all I need this to do now is just marry all of my flavors together my butter is melting my cream cheese is melting and it all smells so good mm -hmm. can y'all see that mash hot let me show you how that's coming together can y'all see that look at that isn't that beautiful mm -hmm. that garlic i can still smell it look at that that is absolutely beautiful, y'all. Creamy garlic mashed potatoes. Give that a stir. Now I gotta taste this to make sure. Oh, I almost forgot. How could I? Y'all know, right? Cayenne pepper. Let's get some cayenne pepper in there. Okay. Give that a stir. Ooh. Ooh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna turn the fire off. Let me show you these. Look at that. Gosh, the lighting. I gotta work on the lighting, y'all. Look at that garlic mash. Got those chunks in it. I like the chunks. I like the texture. I don't like it to be too smooth where you can't taste it. You know, I don't like it to be real smooth. I, I like for it to have some chunks in it, give it a little texture. Don't they look good? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plated up. I'll show you how everything comes together here in just a moment. All right, y'all. I don't know how I almost forgot this, but I did. 
Shame on me, right? I don't know. I almost forget. I almost forget. But I'm back. I'm going to add a handful. That's probably going to be like a half a cup. Or, yeah. About a cup of cheese is what I'm adding to this. Ta -da! Any cheese of your choosing. Any cheese of your choosing. In fact, I'm going to even sprinkle in a little bit of Parmesan as well. You can do it however you like. You can do whatever you like. Okay. Now, let's get that mixed up in there. If I had some smoked Gouda, that's what would have been in here. Oh, yeah. Now we cooking with fish grease. Look at that garlic mash. Now we are cooking with fish grease. I don't even know why my grandma used to say that. Now we're cooking with fish grease. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. That's what she used to say. All right, y'all. Welcome back. The garlic mashed potatoes are ready to go. They have been hanging out right here on the stove. I've gotten all of the cheeses added to that. Let me go ahead and get this on the plate for you so you can have a look at the deliciousness of this garlic mashed potato. Y'all, this looks so delicious. And it tastes even better. They're ready for that close-up, Mr. View. Look at those garlic mashed potatoes sitting on the plate with my Tuscany-inspired salmon dish. If you didn't see that video, I will leave the card to that up above. But these are my garlic mashed potatoes. So easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy to make. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how I make my garlic mashed potatoes. If you did, give me a big like big thumbs up subscribe subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share as well y'all we thank you so much for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to you all i'll see you next time